But that time, it was as soon as she caught it, they closed that space for her inside. The theory inside and out to begin this game. And knocking it home. That has not been a strength for Ohio State. The three-point shooting last in the Big Ten as Rice gets back to the basket. Osborne, one of the best to ever do it from three at UCLA. Had to give it up. Rice late in the clock. Back to the basket. Flat out. Green played 20 minutes the other night. Coach McGuff says no real restriction. And there's Betts just towering over the top. Well, I thought that time she should have taken it all the way down inside. She had someone smaller. She had Osborne in there. And Betts turns the corner and is there uncontested. Ohio State shooting better than their percentage on the year. Over one to start. But Osborne can't get going. Betts upstairs to put it back. And he thinks she may have a chance eventually to get to that level of play. And that rattles down for the first three for UCLA. It's Dugalich. A lot of their production on the offensive side comes from steal and score opportunities in the fast break off their prints. Osborne hits a three for the first time. Bats is there underneath. Yeah, I thought Kiki Rice got away with dragging that pivot foot, but now Osborne gets the steal. And Rice flashing in there to that spin move again. Five straight makes for UCLA from the floor. The bats is doubled. Pass to Osborne. Got her second one. The big balance for UCLA. Betts, Rice, Osborne, Hawkes, all in double figures. A team that has six that give you double figures on average. And there's a three for Nikola Chikova. Oh, I love the Rice Sheldon matchup here. Theory. Open look, Osborne, oh, a deadly three-point shooter. Corey Kills was imploring to her team earlier today in shooting practice. She says we have to be able to attack their press. We have to take care of the basketball, and they've done that. A long two, all net for Jones. Jones, the lefty, found herself in a prime spot on that nail and pulled it. McMahon with a big hit. Gives it up, right back to her. Sheldon on the attack and took a lot of time to get there. Put back goes, but with seven seconds left. And Sheldon with four seconds left. Two possession games. Sheldon at the horn, and that'll count. But this one belongs to the UCLA Bruins. The number two team in the country stays unbeaten, holding off that late surge for the Buckeyes.